We are into August 2018 now and what do the stars um, uh, you know, advise us, how we should lead our life. This is exactly what I'm going to tell you on this month because August is a month which is before September and September is when the planets are going uh, direct. So there are a lot of preparations to be done during this month. For all you zodiacs out there, you need to be very, very aware in the month of August 2018 because you must realize Uranus is retrograde, uh, which is going retrograde on August 7th. Partial solar eclipse is seen on August 11th. Then Mercury goes direct August 19th. Mars goes direct on August 27th. So even before the planets are going retrograde, there's, there's a lot of shakeups that happen. Now, uh, now they are actually getting so mixed up because Uranus, which is again a very very powerful uh, planet, is also uh, getting entangled with the solar eclipse. So all these things actually disrupt the planets also when they are going direct. So your mind might become very restless. You might become very irritable in your persona. So what should you be doing? How should you be handling all these things when half the planets are going direct, which are good major planets, and then there are planets which actually shake up the entire system like the solar eclipse or the Uranus going uh, uh, retrograde. You need to be patient you need to be resilient one thing in your mind you should be is determined not to give up even if obstacles are coming your way whenever you feel irritable just go back introspect rest relax indulge yourself in your favorite spas or in your hobbies or in your passions and the more alone you are in your own space the better it will be you and you'll be better able to handle all these planets which are going retrograde or going direct or coming in direct uh, friction with the solar eclipse. So rest, relax, patience and resilience is what will see you through. August 2018th Libra for you, your health will be much improved and it continues to improve as the month progresses but you need to continue to work much smarter and much harder. Very important for you to notice that you must recognize your physical limits and stay within them. Health is enhanced through uh, by paying more attention to your feet, ankles and your sexual organs. Sexuality should be kept in balance and not overdone one way or the other. Practice safety in every measures. Disharmony with friends or in a love relationship can duly impact your health. Do your best to keep that harmony. The planetary power is still very much above the horizon. So continue to push your career projects. This situation is soon going to change. So do not neglect any opportunities that are coming your way. Both family and career activities are well aspected and seem to be happy. Like last month, many planets in the east are getting more intense there and will give you greater independence, confidence and energy. This is a time for building your life according to your own specifications. You need not compromise with others over things. Your good is in your hands. That means you are totally responsible by yourself to bring the good in your life. With 40% of the planets retrograde and with many planets in your 12th house of spirituality, this is a good month for clarifying your goals and objectives. It would be normal, especially from the 22nd onwards, to seek seclusion and do some introspection through your spiritual guidance. You are entering a very important spiritual type of a phase now and you will experience much change, progress and revelations which are going to happen internally within you. Your dream life now is going to be hyperactive and unusually significant. Keep a notebook handy and record down all the nuances of what you feel. Even your waking hours will be filled with many dream-like, intuitive and coincidental um, uh, types of events. These are all messages from the cosmos or from the universe, from your deeper self 
and they are very significant. Until the 21st, you are very much interested in groups, organization and group activities. But after that, the emphasis turns into spiritualism. Apart from more seclusions or doing introspections, chances are many of you out there could be involved with charities or NGO work, causes and volunteer work. You, your heart will go out and the compassionate factor in your life could be much stronger. Though overall your social life is going to be happy, serious love is more complicated now as Mars, your love planet, is still retrograde. Spiritual interests could also conflict with romance and perhaps spiritual insights change your love attitudes or your perceptions. Finances are very strong until the 21st in spite of minor annoyances and delays but afterwards you will have to work hard for your earnings. It is good to be charitable but as with anything else Keeping a sense of proportion and balance is required. Give only what you can afford. If you are interested in your best days, your honey days, your money days, your career days and the days that can be stressful in a month, please visit my website. And also remember that all what I speak here now is generalized for a zodiac sign. But in case if you need to go more in depth and more to know about yourself, how the planets are affecting you, you will have to make your, na uh, your natal personalized chart and then probably correlate it with these predictions which will help you better understand all about yourself and what is the path that you need to take to achieve your health, wealth and happiness.